Well, my name is uh, Joe McCopey. I uh, used to be uh, working for New York State as a uh, friendly tax collector. I retired last uh, May 31st and I'm currently uh, enjoying uh, retirement and uh, running. I first met uh, Dr. Holzman after I had had the subdural hematoma and that was uh, in, I think it was March uh, 23rd, 2015. The doctor told me that I had to wait about another four weeks before I could start uh, running again. So it was slow. The medication really uh, it wore me down, but it, it also helped uh, my recovery. So it took 11 months, but uh, I was able to do the uh, Long Island Half Marathon May 1st uh, in two hours, five minutes. I looked at the newspaper and I was in the uh, top 44%. And now the next thing on the list is I'm uh, in training for the uh, New York City Marathon, not this year, but in uh, 2017. And I, uh, I'm looking to get a qualifying time of uh, an hour and 40 minutes, and that would automatically get me into the uh, New York City Marathon. When I first received the news about uh, having a subdural hematoma and was told that I was going to operate, uh, I didn't really have any reaction to it. I just figured, well, we're in uh, Winthrop Hospital, and the uh, this is the uh, the best surgeons in the world operate here. So I'll just uh, we'll go in there, and I assume that uh, once I you know get out of the operation, uh, I'll be in recovery, and everything will be should be fine. They they put you out for you know they knock you out for the procedure. So that's where I was sleeping, and then when I woke up, it was all done. So that was perfect. Definitely I recommend Dr. Holzman. He was he was terrific. Um, during and even the follow-ups after, and one of the friendliest guys in the world. Advice to, to other people who need the surgery, just, uh, well, just have total confidence in the, uh, the hospital and in the do doctors, and they have all the modern technology to take care, to take care of it. And in my case, everything worked out fine, and uh, I would recommend it to anybody. It's Bob Holtzman, I'm a neurosurgeon with the uh, group NSPC, Neurological Surgery PC, uh, here at, uh, both at Lake Success and at uh, Rockville Center. And I've been practicing uh, neurosurgery since uh, 1977. I actually also did um, uh, training in neurology and have boards in both neurology and psychiatry and in uh, neurological surgery. Uh, Mr. Koki uh, presented himself at the Winthrop uh, University uh, Hospital uh, with a uh, left uh, subacute subdural hematoma, uh, a midline shift, and a right hemiparesis. He was uh, taken to the operating room and he had frontal and parietal trephinations and evacuation of the uh, subacute subdural hematoma. There was fresh bleeding at that time. And uh, his recovery uh, and re-expansion of the brain was uh, very satisfactory. He remained in the hospital for approximately four to five days and then in light of his uh, improvement uh, and the improvement of his hemiparesis, he was discharged home.